All right, joining me now to discuss this further is James Long. He is a professor of political science and co-founder of the Political Economy Forum at the University of Washington. Professor, what are your thoughts on the significance of this? This is unprecedented in American politics. Yes, well, thanks, Rachel, for having me. Um, that is my first thought, that it is unprecedented. Uh, we've had presidents since 1789, and this is the first one to have been impeached twice, to have lost the popular vote twice, and uh, now to be indicted. What do you think? Does this hurt or help Trump in his bid for re-election? I think that is one of the most interesting political conversations that's ha uh, happening right now, particularly inside Republican Party politics. And I think, you know, certainly Trump is arguing that this could uh, eventually help him, particularly if he's, you know, if he were to be found not guilty. Um, I, 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 it's hard for me to uh, sort of envision a campaign that would be successful um, when the person at the top of the ticket is under indictment or, you know, per perhaps on trial at the time um, that the campaign is is going on. So I suspect that in the next few weeks, we'll see uh, within the Republican Party, you know, kind of different uh, elites angling to try to uh, position themselves to sort of take over, as it were, um, that lead position. Um, we're also still a year out from the first uh, primaries for the most part. So I think there's a long way to go and then two years from the election. So I think there's a long way to go both in terms of the campaign, but there's also a long way to go to see where this where these indictments go, as well as the additional indictments that he may be facing in other jurisdictions. If he is found guilty, yeah, I'm wondering how could that affect the 2024 election? It, it, it seems unlikely that Trump supporters who have stuck by him through this whole time will even be swayed by a, a guilty verdict. Yeah, I think it's too soon to tell. This is so unprecedented that I think, uh, you know, whatever our projections might be, I think could very well turn out to be wrong. And, and just to be clear, we still don't uh, yet know the details of the indictment. So, there could be a lot that matters in, in terms of what those specifics are. But the, you know, the, what I would say is what's interesting about the U.S. system is a person could be under indictment and could be uh, standing trial, could even be convicted and still be elected president. So at a technical level, Trump can still continue to run and campaign regardless of these indictments. And even if there is an ongoing trial uh, while he's running or, or, or during the actual election itself, uh, he can still legally contest for the presidency. Well, how much will the timing of, of this all play into things? Uh, you know, with court cases, they can take a long time or they can go through quickly. Does that is that all likely to play into all of this? I think it is. I think it's going to be really important. Um, it's important just in general for any defendant. I mean, first of all, we should we should recognize that Trump is, is innocent until proven guilty. But it's important for uh, the entire legal process to sort of unfold at the pace that the legal process determines that it needs to be to, to unfold, as opposed to political determinations or the political process. Um, and I think two years probably sounds like a long time in legal circles. It probably sounds like a long time for political circles. But I think the fact of the matter is we're going to see kind of a lot of bumper cars in the next couple of years in terms of political and legal uh, happenings occurring with this campaign and with these indictments in such a way that there's not necessarily going to be a clear legal result before people start voting uh, in the primaries. And there may not be even a, a clear legal result uh, before people start voting in the general election. All right. We'll leave it there. James Long joining us from Seattle. Thank you. Thank you.